This man here is Anatoly Slivko, and this boy here was one of his many unfortunate victims. This is a real recording that Slivko took himself so he could relive the atrocities he committed. But let's look at how we got here. Anatoly Slivko was born in Russia in 1938. Many monsters are created through some sort of trauma, but it seems Slivko was born a monster. As an adult, he married a woman and had two children with her. According to Slivko, his sex life was boring and unfulfilling. He never felt any kind of sexual satisfaction in his marriage. In 1961, he experienced a sexual awakening of sorts. He witnessed a car accident in which a drunk driver crashed into a group of pedestrians, resulting in the death of a young boy. Slivko found himself feeling aroused by the sight of the dying boy and decided to chase that high. He went on to create a children's club. The first one he created ended up being destroyed in a fire, and then in 1966 he built a new club called Chergid. He became a well-known member of his local community because of this club and attained minor celebrity status for some of the World War II documentaries he would create. Behind the scenes though, Slivko was creating much more disturbing films. He would form a close relationship with one of the boys at his children's club. He always made sure his victims were short for their age, and he never targeted anyone older than 17 because he feared they would be too strong for him. After gaining the trust of his victim, he would propose to them a procedure of his that could make them taller. He would explain that he could hang them to stretch out their spine. He let them know that his process would render them unconscious, but he assured them that he would revive them. Once his victim agreed, Slivko would hang the boy until he passed out molest the unconscious boy, and then revive them. In many of these cases, these boys had no idea what happened to them while they were unconscious. He did this to at least 43 people in his lifetime, and he kept films of the entire process as a memento. He would even keep the shoes of his victims as a trophy. This procedure did not always go as planned, however. On June 2nd, 1964, Slivko's routine went wrong for the first time. He tricked a 15-year-old boy named Nikolai Dobrushev into taking part in this quote-unquote height-lengthening procedure. After Slivko had his way with him, he was not able to revive him. As a result, he dismembered and buried the boy's body. In a panic, he also destroyed all the films and photographs of all of his victims. But still, he couldn't help himself. He continued on with his horrific acts, and would go on to keep all the films of his future victims. On May 17, 1965, he accidentally killed another 15-year-old boy named Alexei Kovalenko during this process. And again on November 14, 1973, to another 15-year-old boy named Alexander Nesmianov. On May 11, 1975, the police became involved for the first time. On this day, an 11-year-old boy named Andrei Pagasian suddenly disappeared. His mother immediately knew Slivko was responsible. She went to the police and told them that Slivko made recordings in a nearby forest and that her son was going with him to participate in one of them. Because of Slivko's reputation in the community, the police didn't grow too suspicious of him and they were not able to find any evidence on him. In June of 1980, Another boy named Sergei Fatsiev, 13 years old, was killed by Slivko, and then another 13 year old named Slava Kovistik in April of 1982. On July 23rd, 1985, Slivko took his final victim a 13-year-old boy named Sergei Pavlov. This boy disappeared after telling a neighbor that he was going to meet Slivko. This got the attention of a prosecutor named Tamaro Lenguyeva, who decided to investigate Pavlov's disappearance. First, she looked into Slivko's children's club, but wasn't able to find anything illegal about the way the club was run. After speaking with the boys that attended the club, she discovered what was really going on. 
Several of the boys at this club said they suffered temporary amnesia after the hanging procedure that Slivko used on them. The next month, Slivko was arrested at his home and charged with seven counts of murder, sexual abuse, and necrophilia. He led the investigators to the location of six of the bodies, but was not able to find the body of the first victim that died. After being charged, Slivko was sentenced to death and held on death row for three years before being executed by shooting. This was the final image taken of Anatoly Slivko shortly before his execution. I've talked about a lot of vile people on here before, but out of all of them, I think Anatoly Slivko is by far the worst. Having the capacity to do something this horrible to children repeatedly makes you less than human in my opinion. It's a shame he wasn't caught any sooner. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side.